How are you, beautiful? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, guys. Welcome to Elegant Conversation with Jacqueline Valdez. I'm super excited to be here. We have Miss Colleen Jolly. So she is the one and only CEO of International Pole Convention, also known as PoleCon. And then also you have started the new IPIA, the um, International Pole Industry Association. Yep, that's correct. Super excited. So <laughs> tell some of the viewers uh, what Pole Convention is and exactly what it entails. Sure. Awesome. So <laughs> at its simplest, Pole Convention is a convention for pole dancers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We're usually an annual event. We yeah. move to different locations. Uh, COVID has changed some things this year, so we, we actually had to postpone our in-person. Yeah, yeah uh, that's been really hard, and I know being a fellow pole dancer, too, I was super devastated by it and sad by it, but you're, like, working and pivoting and navigating your in way into your new stuff, so you're doing virtual PoleCon? Yeah, so our virtual PoleCon is going to be uh, October 17th. It's a okay. It's uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern, so I'm wow. Eastern U.S., so I'm hoping we're going to get folks from all over the country and yeah. we'll be able to attend at some point during that, that time. Nice. And then how does that work out? So uh, people will be learning classes and workshops online then through Zoom or something like that? Yeah, it's not actually through Zoom. Okay. Uh, I found this really interesting tool where you go in and it actually looks like a conference map. Oh, so wow. you can like go to click into different like rooms. Yeah. Uh, you can even visit exhibitors. Wow. Uh, so it's all through a video chat type thing. So people can go to panels, seminars, workshops, and we're going to have a showcase to cap Ooh. off. Nice. That's so exciting. You always find interesting and creative ways to do stuff, which I have like so much mad respect for you. So it's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> How did you get involved in the whole uh, creating this whole pole convention? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> what was your journey? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long journey. Uh, I, I actually didn't found PoleCon. Uh, my first PoleCon was in 2013. Uh, I went as, as an attendee and my studio had a troupe, so I performed. Nice. I wound up pole cleaning for the whole <laughs> event because <laughs> the pole cleaners didn't show up. I fell right. into the event. Uh, and then the very next year, the woman who had founded the event was ready to do something different. So wow. I purchased the event then and you know, updated it a little bit, revamped some things, and now it's uh, the PoleCon. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everybody knows now. <laughs> yes, it's so exciting because it brings so many people from all over the world, which is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And you've been like a woman boss pretty much your whole life, right? Uh, yeah. Pretty, <laughs> I just, <laughs> uh, the beginning of September, I celebrated 21 years in business, um, I thank you. <laughs> uh, pole dancing keeps you looking young. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've I've been either owning my own business. Uh, at one point, I've I've owned several businesses in the U.S. and the U.K. over right. the years, um, or or run my own sort of contract freelance shop. So yes, I've been in business for a long time. <laughs> that is so exciting. Is there any words of advice that you would give someone who's wanting to? create something that's a huge platform like you have? Uh, you need a lot of patience. <laughs> I love that. That's so true. <laughs> and uh, you also need a lot of money. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sure you've got all those contingency plans because everything, <laughs> it's going to take way longer and cost way more money than you expect. So <laughs> I can't imagine because I have a dance studio and it's such a smaller scheme. And it's, it's hard, you know, it's very challenging. And patience is a very good tip. <laughs> yes. And it's, it's hard. It's a hard one for us to, to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where can people find out about the virtual pole convention? Sure. So you can check us out either on poleconvention.com. We've got a link through there. The tickets are actually hosted on the poleassociation.org okay. website. So you can go okay. to either those, whichever you remember, and it will get you to the tickets. Uh, we do also have some spots for exhibitors. So if folks want to 
exhibit and have your little virtual booth. It's it's kind of like a video. Uh, cool. uh, you can you can pick that up on the uh, Pole Association website as well. Very cool, very cool. And in the Pole Convention, you have gymnasts, you have aerialists, you have pole dancers, you have uh, lira, silks, pretty much everything, right? Yeah, over the years, we've had all sorts of crazy apparatus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the most uh, crazy thing that's happened at one of the conventions? The most <laughs> wildest things. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's been a lot. Uh, yeah. I feel like it comes in, in waves. Like one year, we had a lot of people ask to do different like food on stage. Like they oh. want whipped cream and chocolate syrup. And um, <laughs> another year, we had like several groups, like several, like it was like three groups. Right. Had inflatable penises oh wow on stage uh <laughs> interesting <laughs> yeah so it's just you know we we've really had just about everything uh right. on stage <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun <laughs> it's just yes. exciting and fun and it's like a reunion between aerialists it's very cool mm -hmm. yeah cool. yeah and some of the places that you've had pole convention new orleans texas where are some other places uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, okay. Orlando. Yeah. Uh, last year, in 2019, we were in Denver. I've actually got my Denver shirt Woo! off. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> I'm actually from Colorado, Denver, Colorado. But I oh. now I'm in Florida. Yeah. Oh, yay. Well, yeah. we, people loved it. We were just outside of the city, uh, yeah. Mr. Colorado, and people just had such a great time. We, I had to keep reminding people, I'm like, the altitude, it's just a little yeah. different. Be drinking water, like taste it. <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself. <laughs> so mm -hmm. then other project that, projects that you've been working on is the IPIA. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. That sounds super exciting. It's super needed. I don't know if it's yeah. super exciting. <laughs> it's needed. <laughs> needed. Uh, the IPIA is our first trade association. Okay. So for our industry. So, so a trade association is a way for people who are in a particular industry, you know, like, um, you know, plumbers, writers, whatever, uh, to, to get together to share information, to uh, network, and then also to, to help influence, you know, advocacy and, and do research on the industry. So I, I think it's, it's time for the pole industry that we're, we, we take care of business yes. and we support each other. And the more of us, working together, the the louder our voices are going to be, it's going to be easier for us to to affect change on a small scale in our own community, okay. on the larger scale as well. I love that because it's so important, especially with COVID going on right now. A lot of pole studios have been affected and have either closed business or they've just drastically lost clients. Mine is one of them, definitely. Um, and it's been a struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite clear that it, it's hard to be a small business owner, and Pole is full of small business owners and women and minorities, and, you know, we're not being helped by the structures that are, are you know, quote-unquote, supposed to help us, so we need right. to help ourselves. That's true. And where can people find out about that? So you can check us out at poleassociation.org. And I will um, go ahead and post your Instagrams. So you guys can see it is on the bottom. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> Some people say hi. <laughs> I have lots of love for you. <laughs> hey. Yay. So what other things are coming up in the future for you? So a lot of planning going on right now for the virtual okay. Uh, the IPIA, so it just launched, so we're right now getting members. We're over 30 members. We just officially wow. launched out uh, two weeks ago, so I'm excited. Yeah. We're starting to figure, you know, check things out, figure things yeah. out. Um, after that, I'll be starting to work on the 2021 in-person PollCon, which will be back in New Orleans. Um, so that one, it's, uh, I'm just waiting a little bit to make yeah. sure life's a little dynamic now. I don't, I don't want to ask people to commit to something that maybe they're not ready to commit to. Yeah, or... <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So, so that'll start probably in January. Um, I've had a lot of people who are already able to push their passes and workshops and things to 2021, which is, which is awesome. It means people believe in the event. They, yeah. you know, they really want to be a part of the community. And I just, you know, thank you. Cause that, 
that helps. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's support <laughs> is incredible in the pole industry. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, Albert says, thank you for everything. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. Hey. <laughs> yes. So you also professionally pole dance and you compete too. I do. Yeah. I, yes. I, I compete. I teach. I perform. I'm, yeah. You, you hold many roles. <laughs> yes. Lots and lots of different hats. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you also do online lessons with 123 Polling, correct? Yes. Our mutual friends, 123 yes. Polling. Yes. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do I tutorials with them, uh, and I actually do voiceovers as well. So, oh wow! If my voice sounds familiar, it's because I'm 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 telling you how to do a move on one, two, three, four. <laughs> I love it. That's so exciting, though. <laughs> you do have a very charming, charismatic voice. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, where do you see the pole industry going um, with everything going on with COVID and just how the way the world is right now? Well, I definitely think virtual is here to stay. Right. No, it's uh, I think as a teacher, it presents some challenges. I do think that it's great to be able to connect with people all over the world. It makes it a lot more affordable and easier for people who can't travel, whether it's distance, family commitments, whatever. So I definitely think virtual is here to stay. And I, I think our community, we might suffer some setbacks, but we are strong. And I know that we're going to keep pivoting and figuring ways to, to connect and to, to serve our community. Yeah, that's so true. How is it that you stay centered during this period of time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have been. I don't think I put on some lipstick before the show. It helped a whole lot. Um, I <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's been tough. It's been, it's been yeah. hard. Of uh, trying to figure things out and you know with the with the pole businesses I work with and then my corporate yeah. businesses and you know it's been a really challenging time and I I think it's it's been you know there's been some good things to come out of it but in, in general just trying to to stay positive and help people as much yeah. as possible that helps my sanity a little bit yeah. <laughs> definitely I understand what you're saying I'm kind of the same I'm learning to adjust and it's nice that we can actually talk to each other now you know, through social media and stuff, we can have this conversation and, you know, help others out too, which is very um, rewarding. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So some of the benefits that you get from pole dancing, what are some of the benefits that you've gotten from it and that you want others to know um, that have thought about maybe taking a pole class or they're taking a class, but they might be too hard on themselves? Yeah, I mean, Paul, I've met so many really cool people, honestly, yeah. <laughs> that I would maybe never have crossed paths with because we weren't in the same career or we didn't live in the same area. Yeah. So it opened, you know, my eyes to just meeting really cool people. Um, and just, I never considered myself a dancer. I didn't grow up with that kind of background and mm. coming at that later in life and seeing like all the cool things that I can do right. with my body has been really rewarding. Yeah, that's exciting. Definitely. I feel like it helps uh, keep you young, <laughs> the fountain of youth. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Sure. So how do you find ways to um, maneuver through everything that you do? Because you do have many hats and you do uh, run a business, you do teach online, you also compete, you do stuff yourself and you have a family. How is that being um, a powerful woman <laughs> in today's <laughs> world? <laughs> um, really good time management. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need tips. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a lot of discipline. I'm just always really really disciplined, and you know the the one thing like being at home really helps because I can I have a studio in my house. Um, nice. I converted our garage, so it's Fun. this beautiful space um that i love so i can i can have a meeting on zoom in my office in my house and then run out to my garage <laughs> class. i love it so that that helps taking out the commute has helped with the, the COVID. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice yeah i need to learn how to navigate my schedule a lot better because i find myself kind of double booking myself and i'm like okay i need to stop doing that <laughs> Yes, you got to have rigid time management. Yeah. Like, this is the window. That's it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Was there anything else that you wanted to let the viewers know? Um, feedback. If you got feedback yeah. on 
especially the IPIA. This is a new thing. Uh, I'm again, my background is corporate. So for me, trade associations were pretty common, but I'm learning that not everybody, of course, has that sort of background. So right. Yeah, to... What exactly is trade association? Yeah, it's they're typically nonprofits and they're typically okay. ways to to promote uh, an, an industry to help, you know, internally, you know, by education, networking, and then externally to the rest of the world. So this okay. can this can be a great way for us to help control the narrative around what pole dancing is. So, it, you know, it's not just the media, you know, media who's not us saying like, oh, pole dancing is always this, you know, X, Y, Z. We're yeah. like, pole dancing is so much more. It's so much more. <laughs> yes. I feel like there's such a huge umbrella in pole dancing, pole fitness, that people aren't really quite aware of. Mm -hmm. And there's such a huge stigma still that we're fighting really hard. Yeah, and I, I do think it's about being really inclusive and understanding that a lot of the issues that are coming to our, our brothers and sisters in the sex work industry, a lot of those into you know, the outside world, they don't see all of these divisions where people say like, I'm pole sport versus sex. Right. You know, to them, we're all one thing. And so if we unite and we can work with, you know, our, our sex worker and stripper brothers and sisters yeah siblings, then we can all benefit. And the, the IPIA does welcome all pole businesses, studio owners, you know, nice. individual solopreneurs, and then of course, the our stripper and sex workers. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's important. We should all really unite as one for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree. What is it that you want to be remembered by? I want people to remember that I gave them a place to to be themselves to find themselves to expand their creativity expand their business that i i gave them a space that's really what i'd like to be remembered for i love that oh <laughs> you're doing it yay <laughs> yay <laughs> well thank you so much for today's interview um thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate you being here and i'm so excited for all the exciting stuff you have going on and we are going to check out virtual polcon and the new ipia and i'm so excited <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much. Yes. For it was great seeing you. Yes, it was so good to see you. Hi, guys. Thank you. More hearts and loves for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.